Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2023. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we're going to be covering Proverbs 1 through 2 and 1 Corinthians 16. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. To know wisdom and instruction, to discern the scenes of understanding, to receive instruction in wise behavior. Righteousness, justice, and equity to give prudence to the naive, to the young, knowledge, and desertion. A wise man will hear in increase in learning, and a man of understanding will acquire wise counsel. The, to understand a proverb and a figure of the words of the wise and their riddles. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Hear, my son, your father's instruction, and do not forsake your mother's teaching. Indeed, they are a graceful wealth to your head, and an ornament around your neck. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. If they say, Come with us, let us lie in wait for blood, let us ambush the innocent without cause, let us swallow them alive like shoal, even whole as those who go down to the pit. We will find all kinds of precious wealth. We will fill our house with spoils. Throw in your lot with us. We shall all have one purse. My son, do not walk in the way with them. Keep your feet from their path, for their feet run to evil, and they hasten to shed blood. Indeed, it is useless to spread the faded net in the sight of any bird, but they lie in wait for their own blood. They ambush their own lives. So are the ways of everyone who gains by violence. It takes away the life of its possessor. Wisdom shoots in the street. When now wisdom shouts in the street, she lifts her voice in the square. At the head of the noisy street, she cries out. At the entrance of the gate of, in the city, she utters her sayings. How long, O oh, naive ones, will you love being simple-minded? And scoffers delight themselves in scoffing, and fools hate knowledge. Turn to my reproof. Behold, I will put out my spirit on you, and I will make my words known to you, because I call and you refused. I stretched out my hand, and no one paid attention, and you neglected all my counsel and did not want my reproof. I was also laugh at your calamity. I will mock your or mock when your dread comes, and when your dread comes like a storm, and your calamity comes like a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then they will call on me but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but they will not find me. 
because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would not accept my counsel. They spurned all my reproof. So they shall eat of the fruit of their own way. And be sustained with their own devices. For the waywardness of the naive will kill them, and the complacency of fools will destroy them. But he who listens to me shall live securely, and will be at ease from the dead of evil, from the dread of evil. Proverbs 2 my son, if you will receive my words and treasure my commandments within you, make your ear attentive to wisdom, incline your heart to understanding. For if you cry for discernment, lift your voice for understanding. If you seek her as silver and search for her, as for hidden treasure, then you will discern the fear of the Lord, and discover the knowledge of God, for the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk in integrity, guarding the paths of justice, and he preserves the way of his godly ones. Then you will discern righteousness and justice, and equity, and every good course for wisdom will enter your heart, and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Desertion will guard you, understanding will watch over you, to deliver you from the ways of evil. And from the man whose speech pro preserves things, for those who leave the path of uprightness, to walk in the ways of darkness, who delight in doing evil, and rejoice in their pride perversity of evil, whose paths are crooked, and who are devious in their ways, to deliver you from the strange woman, from the adulteress who flatters with her words, that leaves the companion of her youth, and forgets the covenant of her God. For her house sinks down to death, and her tracks lead to the dead. Now none who go to her return again. None do, nor do they reach the paths of life. So you will walk in the way of good men, and keep to the path of the righteous. For the upright will live in the land, and the blameless will remain in it, but the wicked will be cut off from the land, and the treacherous will be uprooted from it. And that was Proverbs 1-2. through two. Now we will be turning to 1 Corinthians 16. First Corinthians 16. Now concerning the collection for the saints, as I directed the church of Galatia, so do you also. On the first day of every week, each one of you is to put aside and save as he may prosper, so that no collection be made when I come. 
and when I arrive, whomever you may approve, I will send them with letters to carry your gifts to Jerusalem. And if it is fitting for me to go also, they will go with me. But I will come to you after I go through Macedonia, for I am going through Macedonia, and perhaps I will stay with you, or even spend the winter, so that you may send me on my way wherever I may go. For I do not wish to see you now, just in passing, for I hope to remain with you for some time, if the Lord permits. But I will remain in Ephesus until Pentecost, for a while, uh, for a wide door for effective services has opened to me, and there are many adversaries. Now, if Timothy comes, see that he is with you without cause to be afraid, for he is doing the Lord's work, as I also am. And so let no one despise him, but send him on his way in peace, so that he may come to me, for I expect him with the brethren. But concerning the Apocalypse, our brother, I encouraged him greatly to come to you with the brethren, and it was not at all his desire to come now, but he will come when he has opportunity. Be on the alert and stand firm in the faith. Act like men. Be strong. Let all that you do be done in love. And now I urge you, brethren, you know the household of Stephanus, that they were the first fruits of Acharya, and that they have devoted themselves for ministry to the saints, that you also be in subjection to such men and to everyone who helps in the work of the laborers. I rejoice over the coming of Stephanus and Fortunus and Archarchus because they have supplied what was lacking on your part, for they have refreshed my spirit and yours and therefore acknowledge such men. The churches of Asia greet you, Aquilia and Persia greet you heartily in the Lord. With the church that is in their house, all the brethren greet you. Great one, uh, greet one another with a holy kiss. The greeting is my own hand. Paul. And if anyone does not love the Lord, he is to be a cursed Marmithia. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with you. My love be with you all in Christ Jesus. Amen. And that was First Corinthians 16, which concludes the Bible with Frisco 2023 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Proverbs 3 through 5 and 2 Corinthians 1. Father, I just thank you for your word, because without your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to the Bible with Frisco 2023 for today. I, Shenandoah Frisco, have enjoyed being your messenger of the Word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I. So come back and see us tomorrow because, well, God willing, we'll be here.
and we hope that you are too. Please like and share.